Hi everybody, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe. My fellow fiber fanatics and my yarny peeps. So today I have uh, some new yarn that I found at Premiere that I wanted to show you. I've had this box for a little while. So I just now kind of got around to opening it. There's only two uh, new yarns in here. So uh, what do you say? You want to open it up and look at it? I do want to tell you, check out my latest tutorial of that uh, raglan style, raglan style top there. Remember, it's highly, it's easy, and it's highly customizable to fit your body, and you can make it as long or as short as you want. Long sleeves, short sleeves, no sleeves, sky's the limit. All right, so yeah, check that out if you're interested. Okay, so let's open up this box. Now, this is yarn I never had. Like I said, it's from Premiere. I like Premiere. I do. Um... They always have a uh, nice, pretty quick shipping, and they usually have reasonable deals on their yarns. And um, my suggestion would be to sign up to their mailing list. And then, because they have flash sales and stuff every once in a while, those are always good to catch. Sometimes they got some really good stuff on their flash sales. But I did notice that, I'm, I'll be careful with these, <laughs> these scissors, I promise. I did notice they had a couple new cotton yarns on their website and I like cotton it's just really hard to find a really nice cotton actually so let's see looks like they got another new one that I just now I pulled up their website and I see another new cotton <sighs> I'll have to get that I didn't get it this time because it wasn't there when I bought this but I will buy it and tell you guys about it right after I'm done with this video so get a premiere fall and winter book tells you about stuff okay so let's see what we got in here I like a good cotton I really do um let's check out see how premieres cotton is you want to okay so this one is called premier cotton sprout oh best way to find out about it is open it up and read about it Feels okay. It really does. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's what it looks like. It is 230 yards or 210 meters, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams of 100% cotton. It is a lightweight number three. You can machine wash on warm and tumble dry on medium. And it's got the OEKO dash tech standard tested against 350 plus harmful substances. Okay, where are you made at? Made in Turkey. The color I have in my hand is called turquoise. Okay, so it is $4.99 a ball for 230 yards of a three weight cotton. And it's applied cotton. I would consider that's a pretty good three weight right there. It actually feels pretty good. Um, I would definitely make a garment out of it. Of course, you know. I, I It's hard when it comes to cotton to explain what it feels like. I don't think it feels bad at all. Um, but it's definitely worthy of a garment and you could also use it for wash rags too. So as, as far as cottons go, um, you know, I always say it's not the best cotton I've ever felt, but it's definitely not the worst. It's way better than, than that. It's deserving of garment making cotton, which is nice because cotton's really nice, um, especially it being a lightweight three for um, summer and spring. Uh, yes, I really don't like working with lightweight threes myself. But this cotton is nice, and I think that it would make my daughter a very pretty... Uh, I love making my daughter dresses, especially during the spring and summer, because she's the only one in my house that appreciates anything crocheted. I don't know if she'll go for the blue. She really loves pink and purple and rainbow. And then I got it in... Um, oh, I think I got this green to make her... I, I did. I, bu I bought this a while ago, and like I said, I just now uh, opened it. Uh, I hadn't had time to get around to, to telling you guys about it, and now they got another new cotton that I'm missing out on, so I gotta buy that and show you guys. I like to buy the new yarns and tell you guys about them. 
Yes, this is definitely going to be made. Uh, I don't care. She's going to like the green. I'll, uh, she usually don't. She only usually only wants pink and purple. But I bought, I, I have enough of this green here. I know that I bought this now. I remember to make her a summer dress out of it if it was soft enough. And it is. Even though it's a lightweight three, that'll make a nice, I'll use a lacy stitch that she can wear a thin slip under. And that will make a nice flowy, nice uh, dress. Now I'll have to bribe her to wear this green by probably more than likely. She'll say, no, I'm not wearing it. And then of course, I'm sorry about my dog. He's probably barking at someone walking by. Um, some white. I always like to trim my dresses in white. Uh, whatever color. Actually, I don't know. Maybe. She, I got five balls of all of them. I guess she can choose what she wants. Maybe I can make her an all white one. She probably wouldn't go for that either. I did get it in purple, I guess. If all else fails, there's purple. But. I know it's not very. It's dark purple, so it's not very springy. I guess it can be, but. I like this cotton. I do. I think that it's nice. And I wouldn't, I mean, I know it's 230 yards of a three weight, but it's, it's, it's pretty nice. I mean, I wouldn't, I paid $4.99 for it again, you know? I mean, yeah, it doesn't feel bad at all. Definitely one of these are going to be Evelyn's dress, whichever one she chooses. Or whichever one I bribe her. This blue's pretty. It'd probably make a pretty dress too, wouldn't it? Trim it in some white. That'd be a nice spring dress. Maybe make her a cardigan to go over it. Or maybe not. I don't know. I'll let her choose. I like this purple. I just hope she don't choose it because choose it, it's kind of dark. But We'll see. I prefer it to be more springy. Like the green or the blue. That's like a robin. Kind of a robin egg blue, I guess. Anyways, I like this. So they have uh, quite a few colors. They're not all pastel. Um, a lot of them are. But they do have some darker colors too. Like this purple's kind of dark and um, you know, the red and gray and like uh, brick red it looks like. Just, you just gotta check it out. But yeah, I like that. It's nice. Looks like they got some more colors coming soon. Okay, good job premiere on that one. Definitely a nice cotton that I would rebuy. It, I think, like I said, it would be great for summer projects, spring projects. Sauce great for winter projects too because it's lightweight and it's it's a relatively soft cotton it feels good it does be good for uh, hats um, especially if you donate to like um, cancer patients you know this would be nice and soft so there's a lot of nice soft cottons that would work well for that Hobby Lobby's um, cotton is night would be nice for that and Walmart has a really nice uh, mainstay cotton. I think that's excellent cotton too, especially for the price they want um, on that. So yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. Okay, and then they had another new yarn here. This is called Premier Cotton Batik. I never know how to say that. Batik? Batik? <laughs> I don't know what it is. But anyways, let's look at it. Okay, this is a four-way. It feels very nice too, actually. It feels almost uh, like Ho Hobby Lobby's I Love This Cotton or Walmart's Mainstay Cotton. It's it's a very nice garment-worthy cotton. Nice job, Premier, on this cotton. Sometimes it's, like I said, it's so hard to find a good cotton. So it's 180 yards. There's the name of it. Mr. Bod picked out this color. I think it's cool though. I like the color. It's not like real springy, but it's still really pretty. One, that is nice. That's nice. And it's a four weight. So it's 180 yards or 165 meters, 3.5 ounces, 100 grams of 100% cotton. Um, the color I have is called Coral Crush. Made in Turkey. Tumble or machine wash on warm, tumble dry on medium heat. Medium weight number four. And it's also that tested for oh, against 350 harmful substances. That's a nice four-way. It it actually very much resembles Hobby Lobby and Walmart's Mainstay New Cotton. That's very pretty. Um, they are both soft, in my opinion. But if I had to choose, I would say this one is softer. 
this is the lightweight three this is the four weight this would make a lighter weight garment this would make a nice garment for summer too four weight cottons of course i use four weight cottons i made that with a four weight cotton um and i don't find it heavy or anything um so either one would work but this would probably have a better drape on it i like both of them this is a T tad softer than this one but both are garment worthy in my opinion yeah yeah I like that too what's the price on this one same $4.99 and that's comparable to Hobby Lobby's I think uh, their cotton yarn uh, Walmart's is a little cheaper I think it's like three dollars and um, for about the same amount of yardage I think it has 180 yards also Walmart's does but they are very limited in color um, at Walmart on their cotton. They don't have very many to choose from. But I've found, I've, I've mentioned this before, I've found so many yarns that I think are similar, but like, or, or identical, even come from the same factories but just have a different name on them, but I don't know. Okay, the Hobby Lobby is a bit cheaper. It's $3.79. Um, for the same amount. So it is a bit cheaper, Hobby Lobby's. But this one is um, a boutique. So we can... They have no solids in this at all. It's all looking like this so give me a second I'll whip it up on my adding we can just get kind of a, a little bit of a, on my adding in machine and we can get a little bit of a idea of what it kind of will look like if it's uh, knitted or, or crocheted up just give me a second okay I'm back so I worked up that on my adding knitting machine just to give us an idea of what the uh, it looks like I think it's actually quite quite pretty but of course you must remember this is knitting on, on a knitting machine. I don't know what, I don't knit. So I don't know what stitch that's considered, but it's uh, quite pretty and it will look different crocheted, but uh, the colors are really pretty. I actually like this one a lot. So that's kind of what it looks like just to give you, you know, an overall general idea. This is uh, one whole ball but it is double layered like a tube because that's how it comes off my adding machine. There was not one knot in the ball, so that's good. Nice, huh? That's pretty. Very soft, I like that. But remember, this is just an example. It'll look different, crocheted and knitted, I'm sure, depending on what stitch you use on both knitting or crochet, but that's just is an idea of how thick the stripings are and whatnot they got a little bit of splatters of color there in the gray and in the pink i like that it's very pretty okay so there is that one and that's what it looks like and like i said they want 4.99 for it for that batik or batik or whatever whatever it is um they have quite a few colors now it is more money than hobby lobby's i love this yarn and more money than walmart's so 4.99 is more for the same amount of yardage but I don't know if it's because it's the, the, the flavor, or I say flavors often, or the way that it's uh, dyed that makes it more money. I don't know. But anyways, um, I'll show you the other colors I got of that. I got uh, this one. Looks very pretty and springy. It's called, that's nice, um, Maui. So that's kind of what it's supposed to look like knitted up there. And I got this one. Um, it's called Natural. Very pretty. I, I like the neutral tones. That's pretty. I might use that. I know I'm not a fan of busy yarns actually, but this looks more stripey. Uh, like it's going to be more stripey than opposed to like a, a variegated, really busy variegated. So I might be able to deal with it. Let's see. I like that natural one. That's pretty. I like all of them actually. They're all really pretty. And they're nice and soft. So definitely garment worthy. And this purple one is called Lush Lavender. So I guess that's what it kind of looks like. Let's see if my sample matches up to their sample on their... Uh,
Yep, pretty much. It really just depends on how long of stripes you have too. You know, they could have knitted that up. Uh, their piece could be longer than mine. That's why the black looks a little thinner, but yeah. Pretty good, pretty consistent. When they're consistent with their striping. You know, it goes to light pink, medium gray, black, medium gray, pink, light, pink. Yeah, pretty consistent, so I like it. That's very pretty. Okay, um, and that's, I got this. Was this new? I don't know. I don't know. It's got one more yarn. I don't know if this was new or if this was something I just wanted to, to make. Um, like I said, it, it was, uh, I don't know if this is new. It's new to me, but I don't know if it's new. Maybe it's because they had it on sale. I don't know. This is Premier Anti-Peeling Online from Premier Yarns Exclusive. Everyday DK Merino Blend. Like new, wash after wash. 237 yards or 250 meters. Uh, a 55 a super wash merino and 55% anti-acrylic. It is a lightweight number three. Um, machine wash on gentle tumble dry on low made in Turkey. So yes, it is scarpable because it is the pre-wash uh, wool and it does have the acrylic in it. That's nice. I like that. I don't like that it's a, that it's a lightweight three. I'm not even sure why I put that in my cart. It must have been a yarn that I've never showed you before. That I had to have had a reason to buy that because I generally don't gravitate towards new yarn or DKs unless they are exceptionally cool or um, they're new and I want to show you, so I don't know. Like I said, I bought this a little while ago, so <laughs> it's pretty though. I like it. Uh, right, it, right now it is on sale. It's usually six forty nine. Right now it's on sale at the making of the video, which is five or three nineteen twenty twenty one. It's four fifty four, so thirty percent off. Okay, so that's all I got. I like all the yarn I got. I think this is gorgeous. Worked up this, and it's super soft. Like I said, it, it reminds me of Hobby Lobby. I love uh, this cotton, which is a very nice cotton. Um, and kind of, if you've ever felt Walmart's mainstay, their new yarn, it's it's a very nice cotton too. Both of those are cheaper than this. Um, so you can take that as you will. I'm always kind of starting to say yarn is just worth what you will pay for it. Because some yarns people will pay outrageous prices for that I wouldn't. And there's some yarns that I would pay outrageous prices for that people wouldn't other people wouldn't they'll think they'd be like whoa I can't believe you paid that much but and then some people would buy a yarn I'd be like whoa I can't believe you paid that much it really just depends on how much you want the yarn and how much you like it so whether it's worth it or not you can determine to me I think they're all really nice and worth what they want but remember with Premier I'm going to give you a coupon code that you can always use it's P Y one five and then the percent sign and that'll give you 15% off your total order. Okay, so remember that. I, I use it at Premiere all the time. Um, until they change it, I guess. <laughs> Once a bunch of people start using it, I don't know if they change it. But I use it all the time, and I've mentioned it before. So again, it's PY1, the number 1, the number 5, and then the percent sign. Um, and that will give you 15% off So of what you buy. I don't think it works on already uh, clearance prices, but on... Um, other stuff so that's it i like it all I, I would recommend it all yeah i think they're all the, the cottons that i showed you were all um co uh, garment worthy i think you know i always do evelyn's dresses in solid colors but i think it would be neat to do one in a, a crochet assortment up in this it might be busy i would have to pick a simple stitch but she would probably really like this one since it's kind of right the maui is that what i said maui yeah since it's kind of rainbowy and i could add some maybe put white at the top and make the skirt this color but really basic so it wasn't it wouldn't be so busy i'll think about it you guys can let me know what you think i should do about evelyn's dress with all these colors i really like this blue and this green but i don't know if she's going to choose it like i said there's i can always bribe her with a new toy sad i have to do that nowadays but yeah so the way it works thanks if, thanks everybody for watching um remember i'm not affiliated with premiere i bought all this myself and i paid the prices 
other than the 15% I got off for using that coupon code, which you guys can use too if you shop there. Um, I w sorry for being late on the new yarn here. I had it for a while and I just hadn't gotten around to it. I will, as soon as I get off here, buy that new cotton that they have, the other new cotton that they did, I guess they just got in. And when it gets here, I'll tell you guys about it. So hopefully, I do this, so hopefully those of you that can't get out and feel yarn, some of them you guys rely on my opinions and I think all these you'd probably be pretty happy with. I don't. I still don't know why I bought that everyday DK merino blend. It's nice, but um, I don't. I don't know why I bought a DK. But anyways, could have been an accident. Sorry, telling what I was thinking at the time. Thank you all for watching. Premier, good job on your new cottons. I will get your other one. Look for that review whenever it. Uh, I'll order it now, and whenever it gets here, I'll open it up and tell you guys about it. But yeah, um, I give all these a good thumbs up. But if you buy them, don't forget to use that coupon code. Okay. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Bye, guys.